where do I belong or how do I know where I fit in? Hello there, this is the Baptist Church of Rosettenville and I want to greet you in the glorious name of Jesus Christ. I'm Daryl Soule and today we're going to be looking at the topic of where do I belong or how do I know where I fit in and look at that whole topic. And so I want to welcome you as we come to this service and this playlist uh, and let's begin with looking at God's word. Psalm 63 says this, O oh God, you are my God, and I earnestly seek you. My soul thirsts for you, and my body longs for you in a dry and weary land where there is no water. I have seen you in the sanctuary, and I and beheld your power and your glory. Because your love is better than life, my lips will glorify you. I will praise you as long as I live, and in your name I will lift up my hands. My soul will be satisfied as with the richest of foods. With singing lips, my mouth will praise you. And on my bed, I remember you. I think of you through the watches of the night because you are my help. I sing in the shadow of your wings and my soul clings to you and your right hand upholds me. Just so far, let's pray together. Our Father in heaven, ah, we do come in this time of this crisis around the world to cling to you, to find in you the satisfaction for our weary and dry souls. Meet with us. Help us to know where we belong, Lord. In this uh, playlist, help us to sing to you and worship you and to just focus on you, our God, and draw strength from you today, we pray. Amen. Well, welcome again. As I said, I'm Daryl Sol, and I come to you on behalf of the Baptist Church of Rosettenville. And if you need to get hold of me, you can get hold of me at pastordrbc80 at gmail.com. So do just make contact if you need help. If this is the first time you're listening or if you've got questions, please make contact in that way. Then some announcements. Today's message is brought to you by my son, Joshua Sol, And Joshua is going to be sharing with you on this topic of where do you belong? And we have a weekend of rest, and so I'm catching some uh, breathers in this time, but I pray that this time of worship might be strengthening for you as we worship together. Uh, the live services are happening at the church at 9 o'clock in English and at 12 o'clock in French, and if you'd like to join in, just remember to get there early because we can only take 50. This last Sunday we had to turn some away, but we hope that you, those of you who got the YouTube can make use of this facility till we can uh, worship freely again. But we thank God for these opportunities and this technology to enable us to worship. And then I want to remind you to keep reaching out. Uh, reach out to people. Encourage them. Pray for them. Share your testimony with them, what God is doing in your life. Uh, keep touching the lives of others. Maybe it's just when you go to the cafe or to the shops. Or when you uh, help somebody with a dustbin, for instance, like we've had today. Whatever you can do, reach out to people. Be a blessing for them. And remember to make this the year of touching the lives of others around you. And then speaking of prayer, I want to encourage you to join us on Saturday mornings at 8.30. We have a prayer meeting for the church, for the country, for the world, as we pray for the various needs. The details are in the bulletin. If you haven't got a bulletin, please just let me know at Pastor D R B C 80 at gmail.com and I can get that bulletin sent to you gladly. Then remember our giving at this time. That's a great opportunity to worship God in your giving as God blesses you maybe with a salary at the end of this month. So set apart for him that first and best part and get into the habit of systematically. The scriptures speak about set aside that which is God's, that first part and best part and give that to him, give systematically. And then uh, share what you have with those in need through the Benevolence Fund uh, as we give that out at communion, as well as uh, our missionaries through Faith Promise. So do remember, uh, this past month in January was a tough month for many of us by the look of the finances. But as God has blessed you, won't you give so that God's work may go on and we might help many people in these challenging days. And so bless you. 
Let's pray together before we worship in song. Let's pray. Father, thank you that we can worship you freely, that we can sit in our homes and uh, wherever we are and just sing your praises. Meet with us in this time. Help us to listen to your words spoken through your servant in a moment or two. But Lord, speak, please. Your servants are listening. For this we pray in your precious son's name, in the name of Jesus. Amen.